Okay, YouTube family, let's talk about it. It's your favorite girl. Okay, guys, so let's do a quick reaction to you guys' favorite people on Instagram and on a YouTube. So let's talk about y'all boy, CJ. Now, CJ took to his Insta stories to let you guys know that it was the first year anniversary to his home invasion. CJ, we don't care. If y'all care, drop down in the comments. Because I know I don't give a damn. I don't even know why he even came up with a video like this, CJ. Why in the hell is you trying to remember this? Like, drop down in the comments if y'all watched the video. Because I damn sure did not. Because I don't care. In the next clip, he's standing right there crying. Talk about, y'all, go watch my video. He really made himself cry to try to convince you guys to go click that video and go watch. Now, CJ, just is sad. In the next clip, he uploaded, fathers are better parents. That might be true in some cases, but I don't know if that has anything to do with you, CJ. Mm. Y'all drop down in the comments. Do y'all think CJ is a better parent? Drop down in the damn comments. Now, in the next clip, CJ out with a group of kids. I'm assuming these kids are from his daughter's school. Now, he did say in the video that they told him that he cannot record because he and they with that big ass 15 pound camera in there recording like he's a goddamn film director or something. And they told his ass he cannot record. So guess what he do? He go to the car, put the big ass camera up and then come back in there with his phone and record. Now, this is sad as hell. He don't listen. You mean to tell me, CJ, your ass went to court and, the, and you ain't learned shit in the damn courtroom? Ah, this shit is funny. He went in there, back in there recording. They told him you cannot record. That means you can't record at all on no devices, no type of nothing. See, he don't listen. He he do not listen. And these kids looking at him like, why is you recording me? It, it's just an uncomfortable situation. So he's back at it. Drop down in the comments if you watch Yahweh Instagram stories. Tell me what you think. Now let's talk about Bruce jenna girl bruce jenna sitting in a damn uber talk about she's on her way to show properties girl bye you ain't show no damn properties i already told you ma'am we don't care nothing about you showing no properties we want to see how many houses you sold all right go pull up the information that shows proof that Bruce Jenna has sold houses and post that to Instagram because we don't care about you sitting in no damn Uber on your way to show a property. And that's some shit. How in the hell you a realtor, but you got to catch an Uber to show somebody a damn house and they trust you? <laughs> Girl, they trust to buy a house from your ass? They trust you with your information when you don't even have a vehicle of your own? This don't make no goddamn sense. Drop down in the comments if you are a realtor with no goddamn car. You are really, drop down in the comments if you are damn realtor with no damn house. This don't make no damn sense. This shit is not adding up at all. Child, in the next clip, if you guess a property, a mega property, girl, we don't care. Ma'am, is this is how you dress to sell a damn property? Huh? Ma'am, you look like you just roll up out of bed. This is how you gonna dress? Ma'am, where's the skirt? Where is the tailor suit? Where is the pumps, ma'am? I'm not convinced to buy a house from your ass when I just saw you got out the back of an Uber. I don't trust that. <laughs> Try this shit funny as hell. And then with that big ass poodle dog, Lion King ass hair. Child, the next clip. Now, I know damn well she ain't in these people's closet again. <laughs> next clip. Girl, I know damn well she's not in the closet jamming some damn shake your butt music. This is sad. This is sad as hell. Child, she in these people's closet jamming this ghetto ass damn music. Butt shaking music. And you mean to tell me you a realtor? So do you mean to tell me that the people that own this property is watching you in their closet with this ghetto ass music? Child, this this shit ain't real. This <laughs> I can't make this shit up. This shit is sad as hell. Now let's talk about D Lo. Hey D Lo, where you been, D Lo? How you doing, D Lo? So D Lo finally uploaded a new video. He was sitting in that video looking like baby Lorenzo Tate with them pearly ass white teeth. Just 
Uh, Dino, you still didn't tell me how tall your ass is. I say you giving short thighs. How tall are you, Dilo? What's your height? All right. So he was sitting there looking all sexy. Y'all drop down in the comments if y'all think D-Lo is sexy. I think he's fine. All right. And he was sitting there with someone that has a YouTube channel. And she goes by Maybe Shannon. Now, I kind of skimmed through it or whatever. But I did like what she said because me and her are on the same level. Maybe Shannon, if your ass is a Leo, drop down in the comments. She said, if you need a professional shit talker, I'm your girl. That's me too, girl. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> Drop that in the comments if y'all watched Dilo new video. What did y'all think about it? The video got over uh, about 8,000 views. All right, Dilo, that's what's up. What y'all think? That's Dilo new boo. As you know, delusional big red and swole up head Wesley Snipes was over there looking. Because you know they ain't their goddamn feelings. Because Shannon, Shannon is cute. Sh Dilo, this better not be your girlfriend because I'm going to be upset. <laughs> Y'all drop down in the comments. What y'all think of D-Lo's new uh, video? What you think about the new uh, maybe Shannon? And she do have a channel and I went over there to see what was going on. Drop down in the comments if y'all watched the video. So let's talk about our girl, Jania Michelle. Now, if you don't know who Jania Michelle is, she's the baby mother of NBA Youngboy. You know, he got like 12 or 13 damn kids. But she also has a baby from DeJounte Murray, who's an NBA basketball player who got a big contract. God damn, he got, he got money. He got money, girl. So she celebrated her birthday on January the 11th. She turned the big 24. Baby, Mr. Murray, when it put his baby mama in a Bentley. That's what I'm talking about, girl. When y'all around here getting Birkins and Bentleys, then you fight. Please don't be over here fighting over no cheap ass damn Louis bag like some bobbleheads did. I'm just saying. But baby girl, that Bentley, oh my goodness. Drop down in the comments if you follow Jania Michelle. So let's talk about our girl, a life with a royalty. So royalty uploaded a new video titled Our Last YouTube Video. Now the video starts off with our girl showing the twins. They were getting ready to get on a flight so she can go back to Vegas and drop them off with their father. Now, if you paid attention to what Royalty said, she said, I love y'all. I miss y'all. I'll see y'all in a couple of days. Because she already know she was getting them goddamn twins back expeditiously. <laughs> Drop that in the comments if you watch our girl video. Now, in this video, she said a lot. She said, stay tuned for a lot of changes when it comes to her channel. Um, She kind of hinted to maybe a channel name change. What y'all think? Is Royalty changing her channel? channel name all right but she said it's going to be a lot of rebranding she said the kids been studying for this and i'm like studying for what what are they studying for hmm y'all drop down in the comments who was excited about the changes and the new content that our girl uh, royalty is going to be showing us now towards the end of the video now the video was juicy all the way through if you want to know what all went on in that video make sure y'all head over there and click the video and go watch and leave a comment down below now towards the end of the video we see royalty and mama royalty picking up the damn twins from cjs in the car and cj over there in the car he probably said oh royalty let me stop you know this be allegedly y'all this is just for entertainment purposes he probably was looking at them walk away he like damn i missed them let me tell you something a lot of the times men do not realize what they have until it's gone and i I bet a million dollars. I bet a million dollars that I don't even have. He is reaping what he sowed. He's realizing the grass was not greener on the other side. He had an opportunity to be with a beautiful woman, with a beautiful soul, with a beautiful spirit, with the ability to be in the household with his girlfriend, with his kids, and be able to make millions just by doing videos. And he was willing to give all that shit up. To see what it was like on the other side, allegedly. Y'all drop down in the comments. What y'all think is next for y'all boys, CJ? Make sure y'all head over to Royalty new video and check it out. But I'm done, guys. Until the next video.